You know, as we finalize the budget and we're deciding what money we're going to be, what our, we're spending our taxpayer money on, I think it's important to note that we continue this trend of kicking the can down the road and issuing more and more debt every year. New York State is the second most indebted state in the nation, only after the state of California. Debt service costs have nearly doubled over the past decade. And every year we come here and we have this debt service bill. And what we see is, while we continue to pay debt service, the debt actually never goes down. And a matter of fact, with the $10 billion that we're going to be putting in and authorizing today, um, we're going to see the debt increase or an issue, another $6 billion being issued. And of the $52.8 billion in state-related debt, only $3.5 billion is voter approved. And so when we look at something like the School, the school Bonds Act that was passed and it was voter approved, um, which would be $2 billion, we can't even issue that because we are spending money and issuing debt continuously um, on our own without the, approv the approval of the voters. And so I think that's something that should be certainly concerning to the voters of the state of New York, the taxpayers of the state of New York, and for those who are here today, because we're not just talking about the $52.8 billion state-related debt. We're also not even including in that number the $262 billion, $262 billion that we have in debt from our public authorities. And of course, one would argue, well, we're not responsible for that, but we are responsible for that. And I know we've had that debate in the past about uh, whether the, the taxpayers are responsible for that debt, and they certainly are. Because if the, port if the public authorities default, the taxpayers are going to have to pick up the tab. And so I think that's something that we need to note as we continue this budget process. We're deciding what we're going to spend money on. We're deciding on debt limits and caps. Because as of right now, we are headed to meet the cap or at least very, be very close to it by the year 2020. And that's not really fiscally responsible. And it's not what we should be doing for our children, our grandchildren, and for the future generations of this state. And again, going back to this, when you think about, I'm gonna end with how I began, which is New York State is the second most indebted state in the, in the nation, okay? That is something that we need to be responsible for. And we should be using state savings from our self-imposed spending cap to pay down our outstanding debt. We should be using one-time payments um, from settlement money for debt and capital purposes. And I hope that as we continue the process and the budget uh, gets finalized, that we will be taking this in consideration and finally looking to not just throw money um, at this debt service fund, but actually look to pay down the debt for future generations in our state. Thank you.